All right, I'm going to make his suspenders, and I'm going to make it out of monster clay because it uh, holds its shape better. I've got to have the suspenders on first before I can uh, start working on the wrinkles in his shirt. And uh, this is the uh, shirt that I'm going to be working on, and the uh, type of suspenders I'll be working on as well. All right, let's get started. I've got some people here working on the alarm system, so you might hear some talking in the background, but that's the way it is. <laughs> Time to play with some clay. All right, I got the uh, suspender on. I'm not going to do one for the other side because, uh, well, I might have to. Now I think about it. I'm going to cut it here. A little windy outside. I gotta put some texture in the uh, straps because it'll be woven material, canvas, and as well as down here on the board. I just want to take this opportunity while I'm uh, working on the clay here to tell you about uh, my nine instructional videos, a link to all nine reviews is in the uh, video description below. Now, the review is talking about DVDs. I don't sell DVDs anymore. Um, but I will be selling videos. And that's a streaming video that you can go to and watch as many times as you want on Vimo. Uh, if you order the video, you just order it the, the regular way. Uh, it says ordering a DVD, but you're not ordering a DVD because I'm just not doing them anymore. Uh, my DVD burner is done for, and uh, you can't get a computer nowadays with a DVD player in it, so why sell DVDs? Um, anyway, uh, if you buy more than one video, uh, I throw in a bonus video. If you buy all nine of my videos, uh, I throw in three extra unlisted videos and so a total of 12 videos for the same price for the nine now there's no shipping costs of course and uh, you get them instantly well as instantly as i see your order sometimes it might be an hour might be an hour two depending on what i'm doing at the, that day if i'm running to bozeman and working at the foundry it might take five or six hours but uh, you'll get them the same day it doesn't take any time at all to do that. And it's so much more convenient, not only for you, but for myself. So take a look uh, at the review of each of my uh, instructional videos down below. Um, they get talked about DVDs, but it's not DVDs anymore. It's going to be videos. And uh, if you order, uh, I show you how to order at the end of each one of the reviews. Uh, and uh, if you order, it says DVD, but it's not going to be a DVD. It's going to be the direct link to my videos. Anyway, all that is at the link in the description of this video. So I just wanted to let you know, and this is a little self-advertisement, which I need to do occasionally. All right, let's get back to working on my clay here. 
It'd be so much simpler to have a model right here in front of me, but I don't have that option, so I just do the best I can. I'm going to put wrinkles in a shirt. It's a roomy shirt. If you've never owned one of these type of shirts, I have. Um, they have a lot of material in them. And that, the reason for that is because there was no small, extra large, large, medium, whatever. Everybody wore the same one shirt fit all because they didn't have that kind of uh, ability back in the uh, 1800s, early 1800s. Um, you pretty much got stuck with what you got. Pants had a belt in the back and uh, they fit pretty much anybody's size. You, if you were thin, you just tightened the that little belt that uh, would draw your waistline a little tighter. And that's about it. Now the sleeve seam would be down on his arm a little bit. What I'm trying to do is, is having some of these wrinkles kind of like what I see in the photograph but You're gonna put a wrinkle here. You got to have it continue underneath the. Uh, suspender. Now I know that a lot of you aren't gonna do the same subject matter that I'm doing here, but uh, it's good to have some knowledge of what how to make wrinkles and things like that. You sort of have to. It takes time. And takes observing nature. <laughs> In other words, observing real people. And uh, having worn clothes like this, I know where it bunches up and where it doesn't bunch up. And where it bunches up is right here in the shoulders and in the back. Because you're bending over and uh, you're doing everyday stuff. And the uh, shirt tends to ride up underneath the uh, suspender. A little bit all right this is gonna to have to be it for today I've got uh, I've got some people here working on the alarm system for my apartment now I took some uh, a paint sample to a local hardware store that sells paint and I had them match the color of the clay uh, to a house paint a flat house paint and that way I can paint like wax or uh, dark wax or, or in this case, uh, monster clay and match the color of the clay. So it's not confusing. And also it helps me to see if it's working out uh, in, as a whole. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, It doesn't hurt the uh, bronze casting because um, all the detail I put into the clay comes out in the, the bronze. It, and it doesn't matter whether I paint it or not because it's bronze is bronze and everything that's made mold of comes out bronze. You just don't want to put the paint on too thick because uh, 
If you do, then you cover up a lot of the detail that you worked hard to get. Now when this dries, it will, and it doesn't matter whether I get it on the clay or not because I can just scrape it off. But when this dries, it'll be more the color of the clay. It's a little bright right now, but it dulls when it, when it dries out. And every scratch I made in that uh, monster clay is coming through, so. I got this jar to keep the uh, paint always good, and uh, it works out really great. I've had that paint for almost two years in that jar. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.